hi everyone so welcome back to another video so this video is regarding going to be uh, your doubts you are asking me in comments or, or in my telegram group okay like everyone is posting about this same doubts again and again so i thought of making a video of clearing this uh, particular few doubts you had so in this video i'm going to talk about that few doubts uh, i am just listing them down in the beginning already the doubts will be regarding like when the result of the csd exams come the second thing is uh, will they get a second chance if they could not pass because uh, intensive guys of the 21st uh, September joining date they got a second chance if they could not clear the 70% mark so will CSD guys uh, get that or not so what is the next step uh, after uh, clearing this assessment okay if you get a 70% and clear it what will be next step will there be again an exam or will there be directly full time employment onboarding what will be there so and like what will be the location of the joining if the company is joining what will be its location will it be preferred location or not and the last thing is what will be the stipend if there is a training or like whatever what about the stipend for this particular uh, internship because you gave exams so after clearing exam will you get any money from the company if yes then what will be the amount or not so all these doubts i'm going to clear uh, according to my knowledge as far as i know okay so let's move on to the video before moving on i will ask you guys again to do subscribe to the channel okay so we are close to 2000 subscribers uh, i will ask once more to do subscribe and join the telegram uh, let's move on to the video so first thing i am going to talk is about when will the csd result published so when uh, the csd guys were given an opportunity to uh, like prepone their examination when they were uh, asked to like they can give exams on 9th october date because the, the company had uh, certain hiring uh, certain demands so certain business demands so they were asking them to give the exams earlier if they are ready and so they asked them to prepone the exam so if they preponed it and uh, if they cleared it they were said that they will be uh, started into domain training within 2 3 weeks okay so after uh, clearing the test they will be uh, onboarded in 2 3 weeks into training so like uh, if that is true if that that they are going to do the like it's almost been uh, one week after they gave their exams okay so like last monday they gave their exams on 9th october obviously yeah so like almost now by now it should have been come and even if it did not come by uh, this week that means like uh, there is no way they are going to get onboarding within uh, october okay because it should come within this week okay that is like almost it is already late for like it, it has been already 7 days and they should not uh, late it by any more days they should just give the results now and just uh, give the dates for training and all but i think they should give it by this week or like by this uh, friday so before that they should give the and declare the results for csd exams because they have already done that for uh, internship guys okay so why i don't know what is taking so long for csd guys the number of csd guys exam might be a bit higher than the interns but like uh, they should give it by this week that's it the second question is will there be a second chance so how this question comes they have clearly said that there will not be any second chance there is only one attempt for this exam but how this question arises is because they have given this second chance for uh, some guys in the internship who could not clear the assessment okay so for those internship guys who have recently gave their exams and could not clear their assessment they have been given a second chance and they have been said that their training is going to start and they need to uh, clear this uh, assessment uh, for in the second chance they, again they need to give this exam uh, while uh, continuing their uh, domain or stage 2 training they need to give this exam again and clear it before giving their interim evaluation so they this should be the case for csd guys as well or not because like the csd guys were having a chance to give the assessment or the exam from home in virtual or online mode while the interns had to go to office and different locations and give the exams so this is a this is a uncertain thing now because it is not clear like if the csd guys will have the similar opportunity to give a, get a second chance or not because this was not the case in earlier intern batches they if they could not clear they have been converted to csd and all in, there was only one chance now, like f- recently cert- for only this some uh, recent batch for interns uh, they are giving this second chance for some guys 
so who could not clear so they might give it for chd but and they might not also so i will suggest that that will only be clear once uh, you get your results and receive mails o only then you will get the actual answer we cannot predict these things like i can only tell you guys what the pattern is has been followed till now what have been done for all previous batches what is being do, uh, done for this current batch okay i cannot predict the future like this will be happening for you or this will not be happening for you okay the next question is what will be the next step after uh, you pass the exam okay if you guys pass the exam and clear the 70% criteria what will be next step will uh, there be an, again another exam will there be directly onboarding or will there be training if uh, like uh, what will happen so they, it is clearly said that uh, there is two stages of contingent training first is the foundation stage and second is the domain based training stage so this exam uh, is for foundation assessment it is written so the next stage will be domain based training so after you clear this there will be a domain based training on your particular technology or domain you will be given a particular technology and domain you will be assigned to small small groups into different domains and you will be uh, given some trainers who who will help you in learning uh, new things about your particular given domain you will be helping you learning new technologies and all and after that uh, yes there is going to be tests after the end of your uh, domain training so so this is not your final test in your training there will be tests in the end of your domain training as well and the pattern of the test and all i will make a video regarding that don't worry okay so then then the new question arises is like what will be the location if the new uh, training or the domain training happens and will it be work from home or will it be from home or will it be from office so this is going to be from office uh, that is they have said till now okay they might change it in future they might make the domain training from home as well you know that they have been made it a habit to change things uh, like uh, every now and then and uh, give surprises again and again but till now what have been done till now what is uh, the situation is the domain training is going to be from office and no like your preferred location you might get or you might not get based on your preferred location but they ha they can give whatever location they want okay if you have given any location from the south there is a high chance that you will be getting your preferred location but your if you have location is from north or any other place you mean uh, there is a high chance that you will not get your preferred location preferred location you will get or not is purely based on your luck and there is a high chance you will not get a preferred location only few people might get but most of the people uh, they are not going to get your preferred locations now let's discuss about the stipend what about the stipend how much should you get okay so if you are doing training from office whenever you will start after you clear your exams okay after like i have already mentioned after your domain training you, there will be some exams so if you clear your exams only then you will be getting your stipend that has been the case for all the batches which have been completed till now okay if you clear your exams only then you will get your stipend okay after the domain based training and the stipend amount is what the stipend amount is the number of weeks your particular uh, training has okay like the exact number of weeks your particular uh, training has that will be multiplied by uh, divided by 2700 rupees okay so like if you have 4 weeks uh, you will be having um 10800 rupees in you know stipend if you have 8 weeks you will be having 21600 like that okay the stipend is given on that basis only so that's i think that covers all the uh, doubts you have asked till uh, me till now regarding the csd results and csd onboarding and what is the next step all doubts regarding the csd thing if you have any any more doubt you can just comment down or you can join the telegram you can uh, ask in telegram as well so that's it